Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 15th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this lesson we're going to take a look at drop down menus. Alright then, so basically this is going to be the first time we're using the JavaScript that Bootstrap comes shipped with, okay? And then what we're going to do is make this little drop down menu here, so it's not fully done yet. But uh, so far what I've done is create this empty div, okay? Then in that I've got a button and a UL, and uh, this is gonna be the menu, this is gonna be the button that kinda toggles it open and closed. So, first thing we need to do, well we don't need to do, but I've already done it, is give this a class of BTN, and BTN default, that just gives it that kind of default button styles, make it look a bit better, and uh, this arrow right here kinda lets the user know that this is a menu, otherwise it just looks like a button to another page, right? So I've made that arrow using this empty div right here, and I've used this carrot class, which uh, Bootstrap kindly provides to us and uh, makes it look like this little arrow right here. So that's pretty cool. So that's the button. That's what we're going to press to kind of toggle the menu open and closed, right? So there's a few things we need to do. The first thing that we need to do is give this div, which is surrounding the whole thing, a class, okay? So we need to group these together, these two things, in the same div. And we need to give that div a class. And the class we need to give it is just drop down. Okay? So now that's done, we need to give this a class. And the class is going to be the drop down hyphen toggle. Because this is going to be the toggle button, right? So that's drop down toggle. And then the class we need to give to this is drop down menu. All right? So drop down to surround the whole thing, drop down toggle on the toggle button, and drop down menu on this bit right here. Now, there's one more little thing we need to do, and that is add a data attribute into this button right here, okay? So, data attributes just look like that. Data, then a hyphen, then whatever kind of data you wanna add to this element. Now, in this case, when working with the Bootstrap drop-down menus, we need to make this data hyphen toggle. All right, and then we equal that to drop-down. All right, so, um, now that's done, we can probably save it, refresh over here, and now it's hiding all of those by default, they're not showing, but when we click on this button, they show, and you've got those nice little hover effects going on down there, which is pretty cool, click it again, and they hide. So how simple was that? That is just a few lines of code. I've had to do no CSS whatsoever, and it's made a nice little drop-down menu for me. And yeah, we can style this further if we wanted to, using our own styles. Uh, but uh, if we don't want to do that, then this is just kind of like an out-of-the-box, dead simple, nice-looking, clean drop-down menu, all right? So I want to show you a couple of extra things that we can do to this drop-down menu. And the first thing I want to show you is the drop-down headers. Now, if you look at this, we've got all meats here. Ham, sausage, spicy chicken, these are my favourite meats. Uh, salami, and then I've just put a couple of token ones in at the bottom for you veggies out there. So, what I want to do is split these up. I want to add some kind of titles to these two right here. Say veggie, and then, uh, I don't know, meaty for the top. So, the way we do that is by doing an li, and then giving that a class of drop-down hyphen header. Okay? And then we can put meaty right there like that. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it right up down here above the um, veggie stuff. Drop down header we keep. We just change this to veggie. All right. And then we can save that. Refresh. And uh, have a look at what we've got. So this here, this is not selectable. This is just a title, right? You can see. It's a little small. It's grey. And again, we can style it to our own liking by overriding those styles in our own CSS if we want to, but out of the box it gives you those styles, which is pretty cool. All right, so we've got the veggie and the meaty um, kind of titles there, drop down headers. I want to show you one more thing, and that is how to disable one of these options. So say, for example, this is a menu picker, and uh, you're meant to choose what you want for your dinner at some dinner party, then it's going to log that. But if we run out of, for example, the sausage, right, what we could do is come to the sausage right here and give this li tag a class of disabled, one minute, disabled, like that, and uh, refresh. And this time what you get is a greyed out sausage and a little kind of a, uh, whatever that sign is, no entry sign or whatever, uh, on the sausage. All right. So 
that is how we create a simple drop down. Uh, there are a couple of other things we can do with them. Um, you might want to check out the Bootstrap uh, website and see everything you can do with that. I'll leave the link down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below also. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, uh, share, whatever, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.